A little recap if you have not seen the first video, my boyfriend planned out an almost two month long road trip, car camping with a friend around the country, and in today's video we are going to share this huge surprise that Eli had planned out for us. No way. Cool? That's a good fun. Joey's Pancake House. Before our big hiking adventure, we stopped to get breakfast at Joey's Pancake House, which is a really cute mountainside diner located in Maggie Valley. At this point, I still didn't know what the surprise was, but ironically, there was a huge painting on the wall in the restaurant of the whole town, and it showed a giant roller coaster at the top of a mountain. And I pointed it out to Eli and I said, where is this? Because I didn't see a roller coaster. And Eli brushed it away like, like it's just a painting. And I insisted, are you sure? It shows that we're right here. The roller coaster should be on top of this mountain. But Eli was so convincing that I just brushed it to the side. And still during this whole hike that we would be going to visit this abandoned amusement park called Ghost Town in the Sky, I still had no idea where I was going until we literally hiked up and I saw the roller coaster sitting at the top of this mountain. Ghost Town in the Sky, the Mountain Amusement Park. Bill Rollmore, take the chairlift to fabulous Ghost Town and the Mile High Fun Park. This park had a unique feature. It was located on top of a mountain and sat 4,600 feet. And this is where the adventure comes in, that we would start from the bottom of this mountain and hike all the way to the top to go explore this abandoned amusement park. But to hit on the main points, this amusement park has been abandoned for 20 plus years, so the whole trail is definitely overgrown. And we were hiking through thorn bushes that were four feet tall. Oh, those are thorns. And to be honest, we had so much just adrenaline and excitement to get to the top that it really didn't bother us that much until the whole trail just became that. And until we got to the one part of the trail at the top of the mountain, where the trail just dies off and it goes to two different potential paths and that was where the challenge came because you are on the edge of the mountain and you look down and you can see the bottom of this mountain and it was pretty challenging and pretty scary. Another key point to factor in is the fact that we only had one water because Joey didn't want to bring his own. Granted it was a long hike we didn't want to carry a bunch of stuff but at the same time we each definitely should have had our own water. <laughs> but all of these little factors come into play after the fact once we see all the puzzle pieces put together and we see the bigger picture, we really saw how God provided for us, protected us, and how God really intentionally cared for each one of our needs. So I'll touch on that after because the best moment ever happens after we explore this abandoned amusement park. So keep listening for that, but let me really show you what Ghost Town in the Sky amusement park really looked like. 21 years later. <laughs> Back in the day, it was 50 cents a play. It's actually only gone up a little bit. Look at that, too. Look at how many wins get you the super prize. See, you're warming up. I need Well, because there's an arcade. <laughs> you guys want to play a game? There's all the balls. I don't think anyone understands that we're on top of a mountain right now. That's what I said, though. I don't want to mess with anything, I just want to look. I don't think we should mess with everything. Joy, stop. Somebody's over there. You see them? Somebody's definitely there. I think it's an explorer. I'm 99% sure it's an explorer. I'm gonna on scary face the only thing I'm keeping out of this, besides scars, is this walking stick. <laughs> I found this five minutes ago. Reopening, that's why nothing was sold. But, oh. you know, there's a lot of money here that could have been sold to another park. There's the lift, the ski lift. So do people snowboard on this mountain? No, I was joking slash lying when I said this is oh. not abandoned.
Check. Ice cream parlor. Yep, the church with the really, really pretty view. Oh, what is it? No way. Give us a show. Give us a show, Joey. This is your moment. Perfect for us walking through this. Joey! Look at these machines. You pull it to. I know. Let's see how much. A pretzel back then. Oh, I guess this is only 15 years ago. Whoa. There's binoculars. Oh, look, you're getting married. Here you go. Here you go. This is where you get married. No. There's just a rope hanging right when you enter. Whoa. So whatever If only church actually looked like this with that view. I know. Oh, give us a tune. Okay. Wow. Oh, some keys. Someone threw a piano off the window. What? Who thinks that that's funny? Come and sit here. So that's unfortunately all of the footage that I got. The hike was just too challenging for me to whip out my camera, but it was a really, really cool experience. And it doesn't end there because the rest of this road trip, there are some pretty crazy fun adventures that were going on. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned oh, to watch right. those. No. As the evening started coming and it was getting a little bit darker outside, we knew we were not gonna be going down the same way we came up because it would just be way too challenging with the steepness and everything. So we all agreed we wanna find a different way down. And people have houses that are technically like the backyard of ghost town so there is a long road to get up to it that we could walk back down on now mind you it's not like straight from the top all the way to the bottom you're kind of wrapping around the mountain going on this road so it would take a lot longer and it's going to be really steep again when we were walking down we had to walk backwards at times because our knees were hurting so bad because of the steepness but anyway long story short god met with us in really cool ways for eli myself and joey at the top of the amusement park i had said like how fun would this be if there was a giant pool we could jump in to because it was so so hot and Eli's little god moment was he was so thirsty he was just so generous in sharing his water with myself and Joey with the one water that we had so he was really thirsty and on our way down he found a stream which might not have been the cleanest water but God provided him with a stream to drink more water and then for Joey and technically for all of us God provided us with another companion that ended up joining us you're a long way from home <laughs> You were the first dog that doesn't like peanut butter. A random dog came out of nowhere and just greeted us and the dog was so cute and so sweet. And the dog just really uplifted our spirits and gave us the courage to just keep going down this mountain and just brought us into a better mindset. And then my god moment was when we reached the very bottom of this whole trail. There was a random motel and we happened to see that there was a pool there and Eli being Eli decided to walk in and ask if we could just use their pool. And nice enough, the lady let us, she was so sweet. And the pool, I'm telling you guys, was ice cold. It felt so good. That's literally what I was saying. All the way, one, two, three, under. One, two, three. It's so refreshing. And it's honestly just what we all needed. Just recharge our batteries and relax. I know, but I gotta take care of my girl. Sorry for getting mad, but. Yeah, I'm gonna fall off a ledge. Hey, okay, we were stressed, okay? I was bad. It's 11 o'clock, day two, sleeping in the car. How was today, everybody? I think we all had a different experience. I had fun. We overcame a fear, that's awesome. Yeah, but we're having an early night. The Yesterday, we slept in a private so little view oh of the gosh, whole mountains. Yeah, they have a, they but have today, a... we're sleeping, or tonight, we're sleeping right by the amusement park. Literally, right there that we're going to in the morning. We're in different states. Day three, it is almost 1 a.m. and we are trying to set up the car this is how we do it we put a bungee cord up on both sides we hang a towel 
to block the light just because where we are there's a lot of street lights. Yeah, great. And then we hang a towel up on the visor in with the mirror. And then we do the same bungee over here. Got my fan. Oh wait, I forgot about this thing. We got a big ring light. Oh, oh I... that's nice. Anyway, this is how we've been yeah. sleeping. We reclined the chairs all the way. And so does Eli, and then Joey's on the back. It's actually quite comfortable, believe it or not. Yeah. Come on, bro. Well, as they continue to figure out how a towel works. <laughs> you gotta... hey, guys, can I please tell a story? Of what? Of this morning, or was it last night? <laughs> it was last night. Yeah. I went to move Eli's zombie zapper from Fright Night. Got the table! <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that actually a taser? And I didn't know it was already turned on, and so I grabbed the button, and I zapped him for like 10 seconds probably until I realized. <laughs> Going on YouTube. Nope, take me off that YouTube, man. <laughs> That's why I can't be a comic. I don't want to be a part of it. Oh. Attention. <laughs> hey, so today we went to Carowinds, an amusement park. Quick. <laughs> right there, Eli's on number one. Yeah, there was a lot of roller coasters. <laughs> My favorite one was the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> I liked, what was the last one we did? What was that called? Top Red Strike. And then what was the first one we did? The red one? Uh, Thunder something. Thunder Strike? Probably. Yeah, those two were my favorite. I was not a fan of Fury, which is like the number one ride here. Uh, you gotta give it a second chance. No, the whole thing. It was like a yeah, brain. Yeah, I don't think people like the furry ride. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try the front row, I'm telling you. Okay, maybe tomorrow. We went to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. Mystery, mystery. Oh! Yo, I'm going through bonus ball today. Sometimes you can get one off and then get another one and get another one. No, no, no. Let's see. Oh, it added a ball. Oh, oh look. Let's go. I know. <laughs> Super bonus. Super bonus. Once again. <laughs> the game turns off. Oh. Oh. Good job. Get that. It's not going to exist. Oh. oh. And we went to Planet Fitness with a rude guy. Shout out to him. <laughs> we went in there with seven minutes before closing and he, we walk in, he starts screaming at us, we're closed, we're closed. We wake up and we do carowinds for half the day tomorrow and then we head where, Virginia? Until tomorrow, good night from North Carolina. The quote of the night. Quote of the night. The quote of the night. Go ahead. Make sure you look both ways before crossing the street. <laughs> Good morning from Virginia. So today is day five. I am gonna do my morning shift of just kind of organizing. The boys are actually running inside McDonald's to get breakfast. He's more of the night shift, I'm the morning shift. So if you don't organize every single day, it gets messy and kind of chaotic. Penny Pack is ready for the park today. We are going to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. So yesterday and the day before, we spent time at Carowinds, an amusement park. Oh, no, no, you're throwing that way. Three, two, one. Bro, I told you you're going that way. I got right down the middle. But I didn't vlog like at all because you're not allowed to take cameras on any of the rides. But this park that we're at in Virginia, we are. So I've got y'all on a little wrist strap. That way I can vlog a little bit. Our first time reactions on these rides because Eli said this park is really beautiful and in the mountains and the trees, so I wanna record and capture some memories. And this is the one park that we don't have like an all day dining at, so we won't get lunch or dinner here. 10.06 a.m. and the park opened at 10 a.m. and Eli really wanted to be there right at opening, so I think they need to hurry. Sleeping in the car was pretty good. Eli drove from Carowinds to here in Virginia and it was a four and a half hour drive and a quarter of the way through, like the last quarter of the drive, I ended up falling asleep and then I woke up and I'm like, where the heck are we? Oh my gosh, five minute wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna like it. It's not rocky at all. It's I'm really scared. It's literally butterscotch. You ready, baby? Yeah, I, re I saw the launch. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, don't fall off right. GoPro. Don't fall off GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
That does remind me of Velocicoaster when you go upside down. This park wins just because of this. It feels so good. Oh, it's freezing cold. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my gosh. You're so. I didn't mean to get soaked. <laughs> oh, Ach knows. Monster. Five minute, ten minute wait. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, we're going through the hall. We found this craft washed ashore. They need this back at our house, Uda. Wait, are we eating there? Yeah, but pub, we can get pub subs later in the trip. We need this whole station right when you walk into the Florida ones. Yeah. Go Virginia, go. Nothing like a cookie at 9 a.m. Wow. I got this yesterday too. That was good. <laughs> the next day we actually met up with Ela's mom and little brother and his little brother continued on our road trip the next day to go to King's Dominion another fun amusement park oh, oh. Joey, maybe we should fly. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day we began our journey to go towards New Jersey to go visit some family friends and honestly one of our favorite places ever. <laughs> 